The Celtic languages usually, but sometimes, are a group of related languages descended from Proto-Celtic, or Common Celtic, a branch of the Greater Indo-European language family. The term Celtic was first used to describe this language group by Edward Lhuyd in 1707, following Paul Eve Pezron, who had already made the explicit link between the Celts described by classical writers and the Welsh and Breton languages. Modern Celtic languages are mostly spoken on the northwestern edge of Europe, notably in Ireland, Scotland, Wales, Brittany, Cornwall, and the Isle of Man. There are also a substantial number of Welsh speakers in the Patagonia area of Argentina and some speakers of Scottish Gaelic on Cape Breton Island in Nova Scotia. Some people speak Celtic languages in the other Celtic diaspora areas of the United States, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. In all these areas, the Celtic languages are now only spoken by minorities though there are continuing efforts at revitalization. Welsh is the only Celtic language not classified as endangered. By UNESCO. During the first millennium BC, they were spoken across much of Europe, in the Iberian Peninsula, from the Atlantic and North Sea coastlines, up to the Rhine Valley and down the Danube Valley to the Black Sea, the northern Balkan Peninsula and in Central Asia Minor. The spread to Cape Breton and Patagonia occurred in modern times. <laughs> <laughs> Living languages Sil Ethnologue lists six living Celtic languages, of which four have retained a substantial number of native speakers. These are the Goidelic languages, i.e., Irish and Scottish Gaelic, which are both descended from Middle Irish, and the Britonic languages, i.e., Welsh and Breton, which are both descended from Common Britonic. The other two, Cornish, a Britonic language, and Manx, a Goidelic language, died in modern times with their presumed last native speakers in 1777 and 1974, respectively. For both these languages, however, revitalization movements have led to the adoption of these languages by adults and children and produced some native speakers. Taken together, there were roughly one million native speakers of Celtic languages as of the 2000s. In 2010, there were more than 1.4 million speakers of Celtic languages. Demographics Mixed languages Shelta, based largely on Irish with influence from an undocumented source some 86,000 speakers in 2009. Some forms of Welsh Romani or Kaale also combined Romani itself with Welsh language and English language forms extinct. Birla Rigaird, Highland Traveller's Language Topic. Classification Celtic is divided into various branches Lepontic, the oldest attested Celtic language from the 6th century BC. Anciently spoken in Switzerland and in northern central Italy, from the Alps to Umbria. Coins with Lepontic inscriptions have been found in Noricum and Gallia Narbonensis. Northeastern Hispano-Celtic, Eastern Hispano-Celtic or Celtiberian, anciently spoken in the Iberian Peninsula, in the eastern part of Old Castile and south of Aragon. Modern provinces of Segovia, Burgos, Soria, Guadalajara, Cuenca, Zaragoza and Teruel. The relationship of Celtiberian with Galician, in the northwest of the peninsula, is uncertain. Northwestern Hispano-Celtic, Western Hispano-Celtic, anciently spoken in the northwest of the peninsula modern northern Portugal, Galicia, Asturias, Chantabria and parts of modern Old Castile. Gaulish languages, including Galatian and possibly Noric. These languages were once spoken in a wide arc from Belgium to Turkey. They are now all extinct. Britonic, including the living languages Breton, Cornish, and Welsh, and the extinct languages Cumbric, and Pictish though Pictish may be a sister language rather than a daughter of common Britonic. Before the arrival of Scotty on the Isle of Man in the 9th century, there may have been a Britonic language on the Isle of Man. Goidelic, including the living languages Irish, Manx, and Scottish Gaelic, scholarly handling of the Celtic languages has been contentious owing to scarceness of primary source data. Some scholars such as Cowgill 1975, McCone 1991, 1992, and Shriver 1995 distinguish continental Celtic and insular Celtic, arguing that the differences between the Goidelic and Britonic languages arose after these split off from the continental Celtic languages. 
Other scholars such as Schmidt 1988 distinguish between P-Celtic and Q-Celtic, putting most of the Gaulish and Brittonic languages in the former group and the Goidelic and Celtiberian languages in the latter. The P-Celtic languages also called Gallo-Brittonic are sometimes seen for example by Koch 1992 as a central innovating area as opposed to the more conservative peripheral Q-Celtic languages. The Breton language is Brittonic, not Gaulish, though there may be some input from the latter, having been introduced from southwestern regions of Britain in the post-Roman era and having evolved into Breton. In the P-Q classification schema, the first language to split off from Proto-Celtic was Gaelic. It has characteristics that some scholars see as archaic, but others see as also being in the Brittonic languages see Schmidt. In the insular, continental classification schema, the split of the former into Gaelic and Brittonic is seen as being late. The distinction of Celtic into these four subfamilies most likely occurred about 900 BC according to Gray and Atkinson but, because of estimation uncertainty, it could be any time between 1200 and 800 BC. However, they only considered Gaelic and Brittonic. The controversial paper by Forster and Toth included Gaulish and put the breakup much earlier at 3200 BC plus or minus 1500 years. They support the insular Celtic hypothesis. The early Celts were commonly associated with the archaeological Urnfield culture, the Hallstatt culture, and the Latine culture, though the earlier assumption of association between language and culture is now considered to be less strong. There are legitimate scholarly arguments in favor of both the insular Celtic hypothesis and the P Celtic Q Celtic hypothesis. Proponents of each schema dispute the accuracy and usefulness of the other's categories. However, since the 1970s, the division into insular and continental Celtic has become the more widely held view. Cowgill 1975, McCone 1991, 1992, Shriver 1995. But in the middle of the 1980s, the P Celtic Q Celtic hypothesis found new supporters. Lambert 1994, because of the inscription on the Larzac piece of lead. 1983, the analysis of which reveals another common phonetical innovation: nm greater than new Gaelic ainm Gaulish. Anuana, Old Welsh Enyan, names, that is less accidental than only one. The discovery of a third common innovation would allow the specialists to come to the conclusion of a gallo Britonic dialect Schmidt 1986, Floriot 1986. The interpretation of this and further evidence is still quite contested, and the main argument in favor of insular Celtic is connected with the development of the verbal morphology and the syntax in Irish and British Celtic, which Schumacher regards as convincing, while he considers the P-Celtic Q-Celtic division unimportant and treats Gallo-Britonic as an outdated hypothesis. Stifter affirms that the Gallo-Britonic view is out of favor in the scholarly community as of 2008 and the insular Celtic hypothesis widely accepted when referring only to the modern celtic languages since no continental celtic language has living descendants q celtic is equivalent to goidelic and p celtic is equivalent to brittonic Within the Indo-European family, the Celtic languages have sometimes been placed with the Italic languages in a common Italo-Celtic subfamily, a hypothesis that is now largely discarded, in favor of the assumption of language contact between pre-Celtic and pre-Italic communities. How the family tree of the Celtic languages is ordered depends on which hypothesis is used. Topic. Esca 2010. ESCA 2010 evaluates the evidence as supporting the following tree, based on shared innovations, though it is not always clear that the innovations are not aerial features. It seems likely that Celtiberian split off before Cisalpine Celtic, but the evidence for this is not robust. On the other hand, the unity of Gaulish, Goidelic, and Britonic is reasonably secure. Schumacher 2004, p. 86, had already cautiously considered this grouping to be likely genetic, based, among others, on the shared reformation of the sentence initial, fully inflecting relative pronoun asterisk i, os, asterisk i, asterisk i, odd into an uninflected enclitic particle. Esca sees Cisalpine Gaulish as more akin to Lepontic than to Transalpine Gaulish. Celtic Celtiberian Galician Nuclear Celtic Cisalpine Celtic, Lepontic Cisalpine Gaulish, Transalpine Goidelic Britonic, secure, Transalpine Gaulish, Transalpine Celtic, Insular Celtic, Goidelic, 
Britannicesca considers a division of Transalpine Goidelic Britannic into Transalpine and Insular Celtic to be most probable because of the greater number of innovations in Insular Celtic than in P Celtic, and because the Insular Celtic languages were probably not in great enough contact for those innovations to spread as part of a Sprachbund. However, if they have another explanation such as an SOV substratum language, then it is possible that P Celtic is a valid clade, and the top branching would be Transalpine Goidelic Britonic P Celtic hypothesis Goidelic Gallo Britonic Transalpine Gaulish Transalpine Celtic Britonic Topic Characteristics Although there are many differences between the individual Celtic languages they do show many family resemblances Consonant mutations, insular Celtic only. Inflected prepositions, insular Celtic only. Two grammatical genders, modern insular Celtic only. Old Irish and the continental languages had three genders, although Gaulish may have merged the neuter and masculine in its later forms. A vigesimal number system, counting by twenties. Cornish Wedic ha du ugans, 56, literally 16 and 220. Verb subject object VSO word order probably insular Celtic only an interplay between the subjunctive future imperfect and habitual to the point that some tenses and moods have ousted others an impersonal or autonomous verb form serving as a passive or intransitive Welsh disgaff I teach versus disgur is taught one teaches Irish meanum I teach versus muntir is taught, one teaches. No infinitives, replaced by a quasi-nominal verb form called the verbal noun or verb known. Frequent use of vowel mutation as a morphological device, e.g. formation of plurals, verbal stems, etc. Use of preverbal particles to signal either subordination or illocutionary force of the following clause. Mutation distinguished subordinators, relativizers, Particles for negation, interrogation, and occasionally for affirmative declarations. Infixed pronouns positioned between particles and verbs. Lack of simple verb for the imperfective have process, with possession conveyed by a composite structure, usually B plus preposition. Cornish YMA cat dim. I have a cat. Literally, there is a cat to me. Welsh may cat gita fi. I have a cat. Literally. A cat is with me. Use of periphrastic constructions to express verbal tense, voice, or aspectual distinctions. Distinction by function of the two versions of B verbs traditionally labeled substantive or existential and copula. Bifurcated demonstrative structure. Suffixed pronominal supplements, called confirming or supplementary pronouns. Use of singulars or special forms of counted nouns, and use of a singulative suffix to make singular forms from plurals, where older singulars have disappeared examples. Irish, na bac la mac and bacai as ni bacfid mac and bacai leet. Literal translation don't bother with son the beggars and not will bother son the beggars with you. Bacai is the genitive of bakash. The igh the result of affection, the bh is the lenited form of b. Lead is the second person singular inflected form of the preposition la. The order is verb subject object VSO in the second half. Compare this to English or French and possibly continental Celtic which are normally subject verb object in word order, Welsh, pedwar ar bimthiga fedwar ugin. Literally, four on fifteen and four twenties. Bimthig is a mutated form of pimthig, which is pump. Five. Plus deg. Ten. Likewise, fedwar is a mutated form of pedwar. The multiples of ten are deg, ugin, deg r hugin, dugin, hanerkant, trigon, deg a thrigon, pedwar ugin, deg a fedwar ugin, kant, asterisk. Topic. Comparison table The lexical similarity between the different Celtic languages is apparent in their core vocabulary, especially in terms of the actual pronunciation of the words. Moreover, the phonetic differences between languages are often the product of regular sound change i.e. lenition of b, into, v, or o. 
The table below contains words in the modern languages that were inherited directly from Proto-Celtic, as well as a few old borrowings from Latin that made their way into all the daughter languages. Among the modern languages, there is often a closer match between Welsh, Breton, and Cornish on one hand, and Irish, Gaelic and Manx on the other. For a fuller list of comparisons, see the Swadesh list for Celtic Borrowings from Latin Examples <inaudible> 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 Article 1 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. They are endowed with reason and conscience and should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood. Irish, Saoledir na Dawan Uilesaor Agus Kamianan Ina Indinit Agus Ina G. Sirta. Tabua and Riajuan Agus and Choinsiasa Acu Agus Dalit Iad Fine Diampar de Mheon Braithriche I Letha Shayil. Manx, ta da o oily fia rugat seyr as coram aynsr ard chaim as kiartan. Ren g fioil tage resun as kuinshens oru as by chair dao imerki rai chaili myr brarajan. Scottish Gaelic, de gach uile dween er a bh reith saor agus co ionan anan urum s anan korachian. De iad arum breith la reusen as la coge agus mar sin bu choir de ba bi hith bo nam measg thane an an spiorid brathere. Breton, diab ha par n o delizagas hag o guru eo ganetan hal dud. Pol ha skiant zo des ho ha delaut a riant bevan an eil gant egil n er spurt a genvridoris. Cornish, jenny's frank ha par y w old tus and bys y n aga dinita hag y n aga guirio. Endis yns gans resin ha causes hag y tal deta omten and ale orth y hila yn spires of rhetorad. Welsh, janir pawb yn rid ac yn gydrad ae gilith mune ert as a haliau. Fiu sinisgator a rhes wm a chidwibod, a dilai pawb ym dd win y nail at y yal mune esbrid simodlin. Possibly Celtic languages It has been suggested that several poorly documented languages may possibly have been Celtic. Kamanic is an extinct language which was spoken in the first millennium BC in the Valcamonica and Valtellina valleys of the Central Alps. It has most recently been proposed to be a Celtic language. Ligurian was spoken in the northern Mediterranean coast straddling the southeast French and northwest Italian coasts, including parts of Tuscany, Elba Island and Corsica. Xavier Delamar argues that Ligurian was a Celtic language, similar to, but not the same as Gaulish. The Ligurian Celtic question is also discussed by Barual 1999. Ancient Ligurian is either listed as Celtic epigraphic, or para-Celtic onomastic. Lusitanian was spoken in the area between the Douro and Tagus rivers of western Iberia a region straddling the present border of Portugal and Spain. It is known from only five inscriptions and various place names. It is an Indo-European language and some scholars have proposed that it may be a para-Celtic language, which evolved alongside Celtic or formed a dialect continuum or sprachbund with Tartessian and Galician. This is tied to a theory of an Iberian origin for the Celtic languages. It is also possible that the Q Celtic languages alone, including Goidelic, originated in western Iberia a theory that was first put forward by Edward Lhuyd in 1707 or shared a common linguistic ancestor with Lusitanian. Secondary evidence for this hypothesis has been found in research by biological scientists, who have identified firstly deep-rooted similarities in human DNA found precisely in both the former Lusitania and Ireland, and, secondly the so-called Lusitanian distribution of animals and plants unique to Western Iberia and Ireland. Both of these phenomena are now generally believed to have resulted from human emigration from Iberia to Ireland, during the late Paleolithic or early Mesolithic eras. Other scholars see greater linguistic affinities between Lusitanian, Proto-Italic and Old European. Pictish was for a long time thought to be a pre-Celtic, non-Indo-European language of Scotland. Some believe it was an insular Celtic language allied to the P-Celtic language Britonic, descendants Welsh, Cornish, Cumbric, Breton. Raetian was spoken in central parts of present-day Switzerland, Tyrol in Austria, and the Alpine regions of northeastern Italy. It is documented by a limited number of short inscriptions found through northern Italy and western Austria in two variants of the Etruscan alphabet. 
Its linguistic categorization is not clearly established, and it presents a confusing mixture of what appear to be Etruscan, Indo-European, and uncertain other elements. Howard Hayes Scullard argues that Raetian was also a Celtic language. Tartessian, spoken in the southwest of the Iberia Peninsula mainly southern Portugal and southwestern Spain. Tartessian is known by 95 inscriptions, with the longest having 82 readable signs. John T. Koch argues that Tartessian was also a Celtic language. Topic see also Celts Celts modern, a Swadesh list of the modern Celtic languages Celtic Congress Celtic League political organization Continental Celtic languages Italo-Celtic language families and languages Topic Notes Topic References Ball, Martin J. and James Fife ed. 1993. The Celtic Languages. London, Routledge. ISBN 0-415-01035-7. Borsley, Robert D. and Ian Roberts, ed. 1996. The Syntax of the Celtic Languages, A Comparative Perspective. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. ISBN 0521481600. Cowgill, Warren, 1975. The Origins of the Insular Celtic Conjunct and Absolute Verbal Endings. In H. Ricks. Flexion und Wortbildung, Akten der V. Facttagging der Indogermanischen Gesellschaft, Regensburg, 9, minus 14. September 1973. Wiesbaden, Reichert. pp. 40-70. ISBN 3-920153-40-5. Celtic Linguistics, 1700-1850-2000. London, New York, Routledge. Eight vols comprising fifteen texts originally published between 1706 and 1844. Forster, Peter, Toth, Alfred July 2003. Toward a Phylogenetic Chronology of Ancient Gaulish, Celtic, and Indo-European. Proc. Natal, ACAD, Sci. USA 100 9079-84. Bibcode, 2003 PNAS, doi.10.1073.pnas.1331115.1073.1073.1073.1073.1073.1073.1073.1073.1073.1073.1073.1073.1073.1073.1073.1073.1073.1073.1073.1073.1073.1073.1073.1073.1073.1073.1073.1073.
pp. 231-48. ISBN 0-09-693260-0. Shriver, Peter Studies in British Celtic Historical Phonology. Amsterdam, Rodopi. ISBN 90-5183-820-4. Schumacher, Stefan, Schultz Thulin, Britta, Anne de Wiel, Caroline. 2004. Die Keltischen Primarverben. Ein Vergleichendes, Etymologisches und Morphologisches Lexikon in German. Innsbruck, Institut für Sprechen und Kulturen der Universität Innsbruck. ISBN 3-85124-692-6 External links Celtic languages at Curlie Aberdeen University Celtic Department Labara, an introduction to the Celtic languages by Meredith Richard Celts and Celtic languages what is necessary to decide if Lusitanian is a Celtic language?